Hey, Vincent, what's poppin'? Disney Plus's investor meeting brings major announcements for Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar, and all Disney properties. Redbox launches a streaming service, and the Russo brothers are starting a new cinematic universe. Hey everyone, welcome back to What's Poppin'. This is episode four of the show that brings you the latest on all movies and TV news. We're joined today by the amazing Vincent DeSantis, another member of Strictly Casual. Thank you so much for joining us today, man. We really are excited to get into these headlines. First off, major news. <laughs> we got some jam-packed, we got, we got some huge news when it comes to Marvel, you Marvel fans out there. We have brand new releases for Disney Plus as well as feature films. We have, of course, WandaVision, new trailer from Falcon Winter Soldier, new news on a lot of things. Vincent, what do you? What's your thoughts from all this, this, this show news? What do you? What do you feel? For Marvel or for Star Wars? When it comes, I to got that, a little bit of I both. Guess, I guess we're starting off with with Marvel. We have, you know, for new Marvel. Let's do it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about a lot of these. Um, I think I have the same thoughts for both the Marvel and Star Wars. I know we're just talking about Marvel, but um, I think that we're gonna see an oversaturation of content. To where these marvel shows and these star wars shows aren't going to be special anymore i think that a lot of the footage we showed we saw also mm -hmm. was just okay like i'm okay. not not as excited as i would be about a lot of this stuff okay we got some new announces we have armor wars iron heart more shows centering iron man secret invasion really that's a huge comic book that's right it's kind of being a show so there was a lot of understanding when it comes to being disappointed for for <laughs> that some of these bigger comic book events our TV shows and not actual films. I mean, Luigi, what else? Do you, just, what do you think? I'm just glad that they are bringing in more shows, you know, because mm -hmm. it's like they had already announced some of these, and I think that it's great that they're like, look, we're working on this, but we also want to still grow our stuff. Like even just the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, I think is gonna be fun. Yeah, that's or fun. yeah, whatever. I am Groot is um is gonna be dope. I'm more excited for Fantastic Four if you really want to talk about Marvel. Um, mm -hmm. I think finally Marvel having the rights to Fantastic Four, I think they're going to go and knock it out of the park. I'd love to see them bring them into like um, Spider-Man, you know, and like really like even if it's a cameo at the end where it's just like, oh my gosh, the New York has been saved. And then it's just like yeah. a Fantastic Four show up yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. The exception for me is that I'm very excited for Moon Knight out of everything oh, they have here yeah. is I'm like super stoked for Moon Knight. Yeah, I think Oscar Isaac, I don't think they confirmed him at the meeting, but I think he's in talks and he probably will right. be confirmed. Another huge, uh, huge news of Black Panther 2. They did confirm they will not recast Chadwick Boseman, which is nice to hear, but they'll be centering more on the characters and the world of the universe, which I'm down to, you know, get more invested into the Black Panther universe. If you're a Marvel fan, there's going to be a lot of content coming for you. Disney Plus is really, you know, kind of taking away movie theater experiences, it seems like. Continuing on to Star Wars, though, even more Star Wars experiences. We're getting new feature films coming from Patty Jenkins, Rogue Squadron, as well as wow. Taika Waititi's new film. No title yet, but the script is being worked on. We also have an Ahsoka TV show that is actually in the works. I know we talked about the three projects that Rosario Dawson has signed up for. One of them is a TV show focused solely on Ahsoka, which I think is going to be amazing. Um, Visions is going to be a show set 25,000 years ahead of anything we've seen in the Star Wars oh, universe, I which I think is very very exciting mm -hmm. uh we also have the bad batch if you guys know about the clone wars the bad batch is going to get their own uh spin-off right. show it's gonna be very exciting yeah. um out of all of the star wars news personally like I i'm more hyped up to see like just the expansion of the worlds you know mm -hmm. like doing something different not necessarily like they do have some skywalker stuff but i think that they're expanding and trying different stuff which yeah. is what i've wanted to see vincent your favorite one out of everything that was announced uh, for Star Wars, I mean, obviously, I'm excited for Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, mm -hmm. I am a little worried. Kathleen Kennedy said that uh, Hayden Christensen is coming back yep. as Darth Vader and <gasps> that they will be fighting again, which goes directly against what they were talking about in A New Hope when Obi Wan said he has not talked to him since. <laughs> yeah, that. okay. Since happened. Wow. I There's going to be some continuity mm -hmm. errors. Uh -huh. I I hate that. I wish you just focused on Obi Wan and did not have to do with Darth Vader. <laughs> Although Hayden Christensen back, who can complain? We're literally getting a like a sequel to the prequels, so I don't right, know, that's okay with me. Awesome, awesome. Other than that, I'm a little concerned about pretty much everything else on this list, uh, especially like Andor, which is Cassie and Andor yeah, from okay. Rogue One. I, I think Rogue Squadron total toss up, Lando okay. toss like all <laughs> yeah, these yeah. things are like 
Hmm. I don't know. It's gonna be too much right. Star Wars. Until we start what is Willow? Yeah. You know, what is Willow? Oh, yeah. Willow, I don't think it's Star Wars. Willow, I think, is just Lucasfilm in general. Like at Indiana Jones, they're doing Indiana Jones 5 with Harrison Ford. Oh, um, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Willow okay. is just a classic. I think, I don't know too I'm much I'm surprised about it. they didn't announce uh, Indiana Jones 5 here, you know? They did. They, they did. I, I don't think it's just on oh, the Oh, they photo. did? Yeah. Oh, it's just yeah. not in there. So, oh, okay, Indiana okay. Jones is coming in 2022, directed by James Mangold, oh. and I am stoked. Harrison nice. Ford will be 82 years old. <laughs> what? Really mm. What? Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. They better give me like a Logan version of freaking yeah. Indiana. You know, like like double <laughs> double whip. whips. Yeah, yeah. I want two whips in his hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So during the Disney investor meeting, we got a lot of updates from Pixar. Um, I just want to highlight my favorite thing out of this mm -hmm. would be Lightyear, which is supposed to yeah. be um, Buzz Lightyear's origin story. Not the toy, but mm -hmm. the real person the toy is based off of starring Chris Evans. And if it's anything, if it's anything like Buzz Lightyear Star Command from 2000, that's all I want. That yep. is all I want, baby. Mm -hmm. We also have Turning Red, a little funny story about a little 13-year-old girl who turns into this awesome little koala panda, kind of, as she gets excited. Doug Days, Doug from Up is getting his own show. Cars is coming back with the show. We have, of course, the film Soul coming out this Christmas, a feature film. Luca, another feature film. And then this is a kind of a big one, Win or Lose, which is going to be their biggest kind of long running series on Pixar, animated as well. So on Disney Plus. So that's pretty exciting. What's that one about, Win or Lose? Uh, Win or Lose is basically, it's going to be the story of this soccer team. And I, I don't know it too much. Like, I don't want the specifics, but it's about a, a team of little kids that play soccer. And each episode is the point of view on each each episode will be uh, about the point of view from each kid on how the game went so it's kind of like that's cool. like, yeah so something like that um, that's kind of dope I, I i see what you're saying like a perspective change per yeah, episode for every should. player mm -hmm. that's kind of exciting mm -hmm. uh speaking of excitement walt disney animation studios hitting us with seven new projects i think they're doing a spin-off of moana they're doing a second Uto uh, zootopia zootopia mm -hmm. plus we're getting <laughs> yeah. a baymax movie which is I mean, could you ask for something more? You know, mm -hmm. I loved, I, I loved Big Hero mm -hmm. Six. Big Hero Six is so Six. good. Yeah, it slaps no matter when you watch it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. San Fran, Tokyo is just a dope place to live. Mm -hmm. It's um, <laughs> it hits, it does hit different. Uh, um, we also have Tiana, uh, Raya, and uh, the Last Dragon, and Iwaju. Oh, oh, and a, a project called Encanto. I've never heard of these. I'm excited mm -hmm. to explore them. Um, also, we had an update on some of the more like live action Disney properties that we're getting, uh, and we're getting Disenchanted with oh, Amy Adams. Oh, nice! Amy that's hype. I am a big fan of Enchanted, mm -hmm. so this is this is pretty incredible. It's gonna be yeah, that's gonna be awesome to see her come back. Disney Plus is honestly bringing us a lot of stuff. They're talking about the subscribers now. The increase they estimate over 230 million subscribers by end of 2024. So that's pretty huge. Right now, they're currently at 86.8 million subscribers as of December 2nd. Hulu is at 38.8 million. So their numbers have been going up steadily. It's safe to say that Incredible. they're going to be getting a lot of mm -hmm. people viewing their stuff, especially if you're going to make a remake of Cheaper by the Dozen. <laughs> I'm going to tune in, mm -hmm. you know, they're bringing us a Night at the Museum animated series, an oh, I, wow. a new Ice Age movie, a Diary of a Wimpy Kid uh, animated version, which should have been animated the whole time, mm -hmm. but whatever. Enough about <laughs> yeah. that. Well, that's it for all the Disney news. Plenty of trailers, plenty of content coming out. We will be covering them in the future as more than release but continuing on now to our regular headlines redbox launches free on a brand new on-demand service so those of you that remember redbox the little boxes that were around the stores in the front of the cvs's they're coming out with a brand new streaming service which i mean just adding another one to the whole giant list of services that are already out i'm gonna it. guess this is gonna fail probably yeah That's it says it's including 89 channels including reels cheddar bloomberg tv but you know Redbox was recently acquired from a hedge fund company, Apollo Capital Management, worth $1.6 billion. So pretty interesting, but I mean, I don't Apparently see- Apparently Apollo Capital sees something in it. <laughs> yeah, I don't well, see I it think, going I, anywhere. I think they're trying to like make it like a Pluto TV where it's just a free service on demand and they just make money off of the ads. Mm -hmm. So it could, it could potentially have a big success depending mm -hmm. on how many people want to watch their movies. Yeah. Finally, we have yeah. these two last stories to wrap us up. If you guys have enjoyed yourself, please like, subscribe, comment. What has been your favorite story this week? What's the biggest movie you're excited about that Disney Plus announced? That's the biggest headlines uh, probably we're going to see here. So definitely want to hear those hot takes. Vincent, take us away with our last article here. 
before we forget, you guys, before we forget, what, what how could we skip over Netflix announcing <laughs> Ariana Grande concert movie? Excuse oh me, I love God. you. Okay, <laughs> you're not gonna want to miss this one. This one comes out on Netflix early next year, I believe, or is it in December? I okay, December it starts streaming Netflix December 21st, so you only have to wait another couple weeks. You're welcome in advance, okay? <laughs> For yeah, my Ariana that, Grande nice. fans. I mean, yeah, but anyways. <laughs> Oh man. Thank you so much, Vincent, for pointing out that Ariana Grande story. You know, I love her. Um, next one, finish us off before we get to our recommendations. Here's what we got. The Russo brothers have announced their new film, The Gray Man, starring Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans. And just a couple days ago, announced that they are, it is also starting Anna de Armas, who is the love of my life, hands down. <laughs> Join Anthony Russo. Hope that this film kicks off a 007, um, like, a cinematic universe right like a so like a yeah spin-off universe style. of spy yeah. movies um and hell dude if it has chris evans and ryan gosling I mean, it's just gonna be oh. so sexy the entire time it's gonna be it's gonna be that 007 we love it we just love mm -hmm. it it says the film will be the biggest budget film in netflix's history on the feature side whoa of so that's insane that's cool. i mean look at the cast and the directors behind yeah. it i mean that's yeah. huge here are our recommendations for the week. I am recommending for you guys that have HBO Max, check out Barry. It's a great show starring Bill Hader. Directed it, produced it. Awesome show. Go check it out. Henry Winkler. And Henry Winkler's mm -hmm. in. Yeah, he's great. They, I think he won the Emmy for it. Barry is like one of the best HBO Max like mm -hmm. comedic shows I've ever seen. Just, yeah, I have not seen it yet. Oh, you, you're gonna love it, brother. Gotta you're gonna it. love it. Yeah. Luigi, what's your what's your recommendation? My recommendation is straight out of Amazon Prime. That's right. I'm talking about the boys. Oh, you haven't seen the boys yep. yet Let's go you gotta on. go check out the boys the boys on saturdays saturdays are for the boys whether you're talking about the show or you're talking about the boys nice that's for us <laughs> wow. and lastly Thank vincent you what is your recommendation uh this week i've been watching cowboy bebop uh which is not new by any means um but i'm finally watching it uh and i would definitely recommend it it's a great time especially if you enjoy the mandalorian it has a mm -hmm. very similar episode structure with um like a bounty hunter doing mm -hmm. a different thing each yeah. episode um so if you like that kind of style and you like anime cowboy bebop is a show for you so where can i find cowboy bebop at you can find cowboy bebop on hulu cool thank awesome, you so awesome. much vincent and thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of what's popping brother that was awesome thank you so much for having me on guys well i had a great time thank you guys for watching we'll see you next week for the movie news and now you know what's popping <laughs> catch you guys Peace later out, guys. Hi, everybody.